G'day fellas, how are you going there today? We're up with the new one, the Duke of York. I don't know if you've seen this one. This is a barley wine beer. It's 11 point... How much? 11.3%. Sharp pop on that. Nice pop. Alright. Johnny, you can give me a little bit of a mm. size up on this one, mate. What do you think of that? Rich in colour. Nice head. Cloudy again. A bit cloudy for your liking. But yes. But, no. Oh, know. look at the sediment in that. What? Chilling. Did you see the sediment on the, in the bottle, fellas? Plenty of sediment. My Shit God. Shitloads of sediment. Alright. So, that's the Duke of York. And we'll give him a little taste now. Cheers, my mate. Cheers, Big Jeff. sediment on that one, isn't it? Wow. It's like I'm having a bucket full of molasses, isn't it? A bucket full of salt, isn't it? A salt? What? It doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. Mm -hmm. But I've I got a, a, a sweet, sweet palate as far as drinks are concerned, but that just didn't hit the spot with me with respect. How, what, what, you know, like something very astringent on the tongue, isn't it? Barley. Not barley, yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, each to their own, but uh, uh, that's not a winner. The Duke of York. Um, nope. N not, not in my book, me mate. That's fine. It's not for everyone. No. Was it just put your, uh, put yours just over over here? Is it? Is it just the light? But uh, they look two different colours once again, don't they? Uh, can you get that on the camera, or is it just my eyes? You know, you know, look, they're almost 60 years old, so they're not, you know... Mine's darker, isn't it? Well, yes. Yeah, I've got the well, sediment. Well, well, why? I've got the sediment punch. Oh, grouse. Well, what's yours taste like? Mine tastes uh, like it's got oodles of flavour. I taste that bit. Very strong. Nearly the same. Nearly. But um, it's not my cup of tea either, really. I'd be hard pressed to uh, drink a whole bottle of that. Well, you would if you wanted to get pissed, I suppose. Well, it would get you blind, wouldn't it? What, what, it's, what, it's 11.3%. 11 11 11.7, isn't it? Oh, whatever. Now, 11.3, sorry, Trevor, stand corrected. Yeah, bloody strong, though. That's sorry, a strong mate. beer. What's the sediment on that one? If you're going to pour that oh. one off. Look, no, that's not my cup of tea either, but some people would like that. I've put, already put a couple of barley wine beers up oh, already. Oh, please. I put up one not long ago, and that, that was, um... Oh. That wasn't my cup of tea either. You know what I mean? <coughs> oh, fuck. It was strong. That's strong. It tastes strong, oh. doesn't it? It tastes strong. It tastes like it going through menopause <laughs> no. no I thought of vat of molasses you chew on your way through but vat of molasses oh is that what the taste is oh yeah it's full, full of flavours but, but it tastes but... like dry molasses doesn't it <laughs> yeah look oh fuck have another go see if it's come good on you come good it's three times lucky you reckon oh anyway what about a story Thailand, first time I went to Thailand, mate. Oh, please. I didn't have a clue. Yeah, I was 18. I had no idea. I was 18. How old were you when you first went there? 22. Oh, not much difference. Just turned 22 the week before. Yeah, right. And I got there and uh, I've decided to go to Koh Samui. Yeah, well, it's good and fantastic Koh Samui in those days. And uh, it was 1985, uh, I think. Oh, yeah. I'd already been to 
<laughs> I got Bali in eighty three. I got married in nineteen eighty five. Oh, you're mad. Anyway, I went I went first time to Koh Samui and I didn't have a clue where to stay or anything. The Germans weren't there then, were they? No, there was a few. A There's always been a few. Yeah, a few. No, yeah. Not not too many. It wasn't, you know... But, you know there was a not, few I, French there. I don't think the Germans go there. You know, you know, the French? There was a couple of French there. Yeah, a few, yeah, a few frogs. French lady married um, my, one of my best mate's uh, brothers. Andy? Yeah. Now, he was a party animal, the older brother, and I partied with him the very first time I went to uh, Koh Samui, and he had the French girlfriend. Full of Russians now, would not it? Oh, yeah, a few Russians there now. A but, few? And there's, uh, there's Israelis mm. as well. Who? Huh? Israelis. Israelis. Yeah, they were in there. They had... They Fair had, Yeah, they had two restaurants that were run by Israelis opposite well, each kosher. other. Kosher restaurants, are they? Oh, anyway... The, they, they end up fighting with each other, mm-hmm. and one put a bomb in the other one. That's handy. And we were staying like about three doors down the road, and one of the cleaning girls went in early and she said, oh, that doesn't look right, and she called the police. Kaboom. And they came in and did the, you know, disconnected it before it went off. So there could have been a huge bomb while I was in Chowang. I was glad that didn't go off, I tell you, mate. So there's shit going down around Chowang, the world. Chowang, Chowang oh. Beach. Oh. That's a pretty beach, isn't it, that Chowang Beach? It's Chowang Noi is the best beach in Kos- on Koh Samui. Yeah. If you want to go to a good beach, go to Chowang Noi. It's the original resort place. That was where first bungalow is and was, the very first bungalow but, but on the Germans used to frequent it about... 30, 40 years ago. We could the snorkel Europeans there. The used to come down there and get, you know, a, a lovely cheap holiday down on the beach and you could get, you know, fresh seafood from, you know, little restaurant stalls from, you know, behind We used to go to the, the fishing, and, fishing village for dinner. Well, the fishing vi- yeah, well, yeah. well, the fishing village had two restaurants and you'd go up there and you'd sit in this open like area. Way in the old days. That's, that's, it was all that's open. Now, all in. open, you know, mozzies, yeah. the whole lot. But you know, you'd go up to the fishing village at Chowang and have a have a meal there, and that's yeah. gone. Oh, that was at Lamai. Yeah. I remember oh, an old they're bloke. all gone. I, I think I was there's in my. There's no um, fish left. They fucking caught them all, and then there's none left. Well, you know, fish left. Yeah. I remember um, I uh, there was an old bloke who put me on to Thailand. A good way to go from Thailand from Australia. You know, he used to get off Penang and then catch the railway up, and you know, and and then go through into Phuket. And, and uh, anyway, he, he was very knowledgeable at Thailand. He'd been, you know, travelling there since the, you know, the, the nineteen end of the nineteen forties, you know, early nineteen fifties. And he put me onto this place called Wahin. And oh, it was a lovely little beach resort in the old days. And he put me onto this place where he used to stay, and, and it used to, it used to cost six dollars a day to stay there. You know, it was nothing flash, you know, you know, just wooden floorboards and. Had a fan in the centre of the room. You know, it certainly wasn't flash at all, but you know, it was you know, it was clean at work. But you you were 150 metres from you know a pristine beach. Yeah, you know, and 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 200 metres down the beach from that was the pier, where you could go and buy any sort of you know seafood in the world you could imagine, but you wouldn't bother because the bloke behind you at the seafood stall who you were eating from all day, he'd be doing that for you. You wouldn't have to think. And, and you'd sit there, and I remember one day with my, my my first wife. We weren't married then, but we sat on the the beach all day, and I had I had nine crayfish tails for the day. That's all I ate, nine crayfish tails. You know, and it's sort of you know as I finished, you know, sort of you just you know the whole crayfish would come, and you just you know put it down in front of you. I just pulled off the tail and and chewed, you know threw the rest away and. You know, just chewed into the tail and, um, you know, had nine of them, you know. She had one or two, you know. Yeah. But that, the whole bill, you wouldn't believe what, you wouldn't know what the whole bill co- came to. You know, came to 1,800 baht, which was about 60 bucks. Huge bill. Yeah. You know? Oh, it was, it was big at the time, but we were eating the top end of the, you know, top end of the, Huge, but, huge yeah, bill for time. Yeah, and you know what?